everyone and welcome to the Valley Theater Vlog. Um, today we are going to talk about um, our time at the Hale Theater. Uh, they had the Scarlet Pimpernel, but before I do that, David, why don't you introduce our guest? Welcome back to the show, recurring guest host, Aunt Jody, and our social media director, my sister, Faith. And Batman. And Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and Fine. I'm Mama D. Um, and I'm David. This uh, Friday, we all went to see the Scarlet Pimpernel Yay. at the Hale Theater, and it was fabulous, and it was their 142nd show. That's a lot of shows. Oh, yeah, that is a lot of shows. <laughs> yeah. That is a lot of shows. I didn't know. Um, before we get started, Faith is going to give you a little synopsis of what the Scarlet Pimpernel is all about. Faith? No pressure. Um, Scarlet Pimpernel is basically um, the original superhero. Uh, the writer of the book um, wrote this one before um, Zorro, before Batman, before everything. He's basically um, an Englishman who goes over and saves aristocrats during the reign of terror of the French Revolution in the 1700s. So he was basically like the first masked hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sort of thing. Um, and let me tell you, again, another stellar, wonderful performance yes. uh, by the cast at the Hale Theater. Um, Austin he, uh, played uh, Percy, Percy, Percy uh, who was our masked hero, and he was phenomenal. Not only uh, singing, but acting, uh, did a fantastic job. Reminded me a lot of Leslie Howard from the 1930s movie, who yeah. was like one of my favorite. Yes. In fact, I think you spoke to him about it. Yeah, I told him mm -hmm. that, and I was like, I hope I complimented him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. And Marguerite was played by uh, Rochelle, and what an amazing voice. Yes. Yes. She's oh, gorgeous. She had me in tears. <laughs> she did. I had goosebumps, tears. Beautiful. Did you like her name? Yes. <laughs> Gotta remember, you, know, you saw her. Or you saw um, all the I on. saw him on opening night. Yeah. And everybody was fabulous from opening night to when we saw it um, the second time. Mm -hmm. And Brian was a fantastic oh highlight gosh. of the show. Chauvelin. Chauvelin. I let Faith say that because my French is horrible. Yeah. But Chauvelin. Brian, Chauvelin. Chauvelin. Yeah, Brian Chauvelin. did a, a fantastic job. He, he was the, the villain that you love to hate. Highlight yes. of the show. And really, his really voice was oh fabulous. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. And then um, one of my favorite people, Kathleen Richards, she, uh, she's been in a couple of our uh, shows that we went to see. Uh, she was in Sister Act and all. She played I, the Reverend Mother in yeah. mm -hmm. Sister Act. Yep. Well, you and guys know that. She played, um, to, uh, who, uh, who, would, who would become um, uh, Marie Tussaud Marie from Marie Tussaud, uh, yep. Wax fame. Yes. She was incredible, incredible. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorites, Matthew, uh, <laughs> plays multiple parts again, but he's been in um, quite a few of our shows that we go to see at the Hell Theater. Was he, the, he was the Prince of Wales and Robespierre, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. he was uh, Prince of Wales and he, was, he, he played in the part. Robespierre. Robespierre, yes. Uh, the mm -hmm. French yes. And Sam Cocktail. We're sorry about names as usual. Yes. Played Armand Saint Just. And he was fabulous. He actually oh, looked he like was. the younger brother. It was awesome. Yeah, they yeah, usually yeah. get somebody who looks older than Marguerite and it drives me nuts. And yes, and he did. He looked like yeah, he, he looked like the younger brother. I was yeah. Like, yes. Once, but, once again, the casting was fabulous. Yes. But the guys that played Percy's. <laughs> that played oh, Percy's. Oh, they were so good. Um, it was. Um, Nothing made me happier than to be an honorary fob when we went to go see them. Okay, the show. but yes. I have to I have to mention their names. It was Cameron, Avery, Danny, um, Nathan, Hunter, and uh, Benjamin. Benjamin. Oh, great. They were fantastic. We all saw the Scarlet Pimpernel on Broadway in, yeah. uh, many, 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 many moons ago. These guys were much, much shorter. I was in high school. Yeah, you were uh, in high school. <laughs> and let me tell you, you guys, and I'm hoping that some of you watch our vlog. You guys were just as good. It just takes very secure men to do what you do. Yes, yes. <laughs> you were fantastic. And I, and I also have to say that Scarlet Pimpernel was directed by Cambrian James. Mm -hmm. He did a fabulous job of directing 
the show. Mm -hmm. And the music was spot on as usual, so mm -hmm. hats off to our music people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Again, it felt like a, a, a full orchestra was there. I, lo I love the Hale Theater and how they Part of me was yeah. wondering if, if, if pieces of it were actually played live, if, like part of it was obviously it's canned or pre-recorded. But some of it sounded like it was actually played live. Played live, I right. know, I know. Yes. And yes. let me I'll tell you, the one scene I, I was, my biggest, well, there were two scenes. Mm -hmm. um, the guillotine scenes, um, I was Hello, concerned. Parker. Yes. <laughs> and Daniel not, would not tell us anything about it, even though you saw it before us. But you wowed me. You honestly wowed me. I was like, yes. oh. It looked good. Yes. It looked but really good. But the other scene, there's a scene where all the guys are on a boat and they're they're going to England to, to, to fight. Uh, the fr <laughs> they're going from England to France there you go. to fight the evil. And I wasn't sure how you would be able to do that because in, in a, a theater in a, a yeah in a theater and around because in a, a stage theater you have where your background and you have all this. Stuff. You wowed me when when you got when the guys came out and they were on the boat and then we looked around and there was water, water. and there was it was it was great. I was like, oh. yeah, you I took my breath away, Corinne and David. You yes. guys took our breath away. I was telling you, Jody, before when we were having our pre-show mm -hmm. uh, breakfast, um, they do like a similar kind of thing with Jacob Marley and the Christmas Carol, where they have like a oh movie, yeah 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 map, uh, yes exactly. a projection kind uh, of thing. Uh, but even right down to the exits where they have the walls painted, had the pimpernel yeah. flower on. Yes. Yeah. I mean that was it's fabulous. The it's whole just, theater feel is good. just a good. Feeling. You walk in and you go. Wow. It's immersive. Wow. It's very yes. immersive. I was particularly excited when I screamed when Percy and Marguerite were walking <laughs> off stage and I screamed really loud and they both turned around and looked at me and smiled. That made my night. <laughs> she's, she's her mother's daughter. She's <laughs> that mom? My mother actually, when we were young, when we were little, before these two way came along, my sister and I were much younger, we, uh, one of our first plays we went to see Off-Broadway was Godspell, and my mother actually stopped the show <laughs> because she laughed so hard and she cheered so loud. And also Joseph. At oh the yeah, Joseph, <laughs> at the, yeah at Joseph at the Paper Mill Playhouse. These two remember Grandma stopping oh, the yeah. show. Um, the Pharaoh oh, was it. laughing so hard. It's worth it. <laughs> he had to stop. He had to stop. And he actually found her in the audience and thanked her afterwards. But anyway, so Jody is. Definitely got grandma's spirit. Ta da. <laughs> um, also, also playing now is Dear Ruth, which is on Monday and Tuesdays only. That is playing from no until November 13th. Oh, and Dear Ruth one. is, David gets nervous about reading certain things. <laughs> Dear Ruth is, uh, the storyline is a love, love struck soldier who returns home from war, and the one thing he wants to do is see Ruth. Ruth is the only thing on his mind. But imagine his surprise when he discovers that the girl he's fallen in love with through correspondence is not Ruth. It's Ruth's 16-year-old sister. What happens next um, is, is when all the fun begins and nostalgia and comedy collides with, create, with a cre creative, hilarious, and delightful night of theater. I wish I didn't work Mondays and Tuesdays because mm. I'd really like to go Isn't see that. Isn't that called the internet? That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Um, but yes, it does sound like, a, uh, it sounds fun and sounds you wanna like go? fun. <laughs> and it does sound fun. Yeah. There you go. Uh, but anyway, we love the Scarlet Pimpernel so much. Yeah. We're, we're yes. actually thinking of uh, getting tickets for a closing night. We're hoping there's still tickets available. And That's how much we loved it. We mm -hmm. all walked out of the theater saying, I want to see this again. <laughs> I want to see this again. That's how much we loved it. So thank you to and the Scarlet Pimpernel. When is the night? After um, the Scarlet Pimpernel is playing through October 6th. And next up after that is one of my favorites. And Aunt Jody's. And Aunt Jody's favorites. Oh, God. Annie. Annie. So, the sun will come, come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that, that tomorrow there'll be sun. I'm a self-proclaimed <laughs> vampire. I can't stand the sun. And that's playing <laughs> October 11th through the November 24th. And don't miss 
next up after that, a Christmas Carol. Oh, yes. Lordy. If you didn't that get your tickets great. for a yes. Christmas Carol, get them soon get them because now. those shows sell out very quickly. And uh, the reason they do is because the Hale Theater puts on the best it's Christmas it's Carol. Great. And uh, who's coming back this year? Scrooge. Oh, one of the Scrooges is one of our weathermen. Yeah. Oh, Corey McCloskey. Oh, Corey McCloskey. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh. Corey McCloskey. I think we're going to see him. He was yeah. really good. He's going to be one of Yeah, he was good last year. Nice guy. So. And that's playing November 29th to Christmas Eve, December 24th. Yes. Just and get your tickets now. We usually yes. go around my birthday, December 2nd, <laughs> so, which is cool. It's always my birthday gift, and I love it. And that's actually how we started going to the Hale Theater. Mm -hmm. That was um, our these first guys, show. Yep. These guys got tickets for me for my birthday, and we went to see a Christmas Carol, and we were booked. We used to go see the, uh, another version of it at uh, Madison Square Garden when that was still a big deal mm -hmm. in yes. New York, and I just kind of missed making that a yearly yeah, we tradition. So when the hail started doing it, it's like, or when we first found out that the hail did it, That's like, when we you gotta go. go. So, get your tickets for Scarlet Pimpernel. You will not be yeah, disappointed. Yeah, about two and a half yes. weeks left. Get your, get your tickets for Annie. Yes. Um, and get your tickets for um, Christmas Carol. Christmas, Christmas Carol. Carol. Uh, we'll also be going back to the um, Mesa Encore. Mesa Encore soon to see Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Help Mary fly. They have a donation yeah, thing going on right now. Yeah, they have a donation online. Please go donate like a dollar so you can actually yeah. they can pull that off because that's like one of the highlights. If everybody of the show. if everybody that watches us or even out there donates a dollar before you know it, they'll have they'll have enough money for it. The so. Disney Magic. <laughs> yeah. And that's playing November second to the eighteenth. Yes. So um, get your tickets for that, too, because I'm, sh I'm sure that's going to be phenomenal. All right. So thank you to Sister Faith, to Batman. Our, our Batman, <laughs> our, our, media, our media director. Yeah, anything about me Jody. Oh, by the way, the reason we call her a nut, Jody, when David was a little boy, he wanted to sign a birthday card to Aunt Jody. And I said, go ahead, and Mama didn't check it, which is fine. Aunt Jody read her card, and a little while later, she showed it to me. David wrote... A N U T instead of A U N T, and that has always Spelling. been a joke in our family. She is not a nut. She is the sweetest, wonderful. She's a sweet in the nut. World. Yes. And, and Faith Ann's godmother, and and she just loves it. So we've always David's always called her. He's a nut. Not a typo. Not a typo. Okay, so have a good day. Thank you for watching us. Keep um, tuning in to us. I know sometimes we get a couple weeks where. We don't uh, do a vlog, and that's yes. because Mama works. But uh, yeah, I have day jobs. We'll try to uh, do it more often. Take care. Thank you to Aunt Jody. Thank, Thank you. you to Faith. I'm Take, David. Um, I'm Mama D. God bless. Bye. Bye. Bye.